sometimes you need some more real estate in a document in order to create whatever image you are ending at. So let's say that I would like to extend and have a more vertical orientation for my clouds. I need more clouds down here. So the first thing that I will need to do is to increase the canvas size, which is different than changing image size. That will change the overall document. What I want to do is get a bigger piece of paper. I want to add space. So canvas size will do that for me. If the relative button is not checked, it simply changes the size of your document and it will do unexpected things if you follow the rest of these directions. So you have to make sure the relative box is checked and these numbers will become zero. This grid here is showing you where the new area is going to go. If I want to make three more inches of height, if I leave this box in the center, I will get one and a half inches on the top and one and a half on the, on the bottom because it will split it evenly. If I click down here, all three inches will go to the top. This is the empty space now. And if I click here, all of the space will go to the bottom, which is actually what I want. So I'm going to say OK now and let it extend, extend my color, or canvas, excuse me, so it's extended the canvas. So now what I'm going to use is the content aware fill. So I'm going to make a selection with my rectangular marquee and go to edit and fill and use the content aware dialog. What content aware fill will do is look at what's happening already in the document and try to duplicate it. This can work really nicely a lot of times and it can have some unexpected results, which I'll show you some other times. But it's really cool when it works and worth checking out. So I'll say OK. Now I have made this image on low resolution on purpose so that it would work faster. Expect Content Aware Film, fill, fill, excuse me, to take some time. Content Aware Fill will take time, especially in a large document. But that has done a pretty believable job. I might have a little repair to do here, but considering the time that it saved increasing and bringing clouds down here, I'd call that a win. Let's look over here at our pond. So I've already increased my, ca my canvas here, and I've selected. So let's try to do my fill here. We'll do Edit and Fill and Content Aware, and we'll say OK. Again, expect yours to take longer. And as you can see, Photoshop has had a harder time figuring out what to do here. So now I have all of these strange selections on the um, dock that's happening here. That doesn't mean that you don't have other ways you can get around this. You could do smaller segments at a time to help get you closer. Um, but like I said, sometimes it works great, sometimes not so well. But it's worth checking out. I'm going to show you one last example. We have clouds and a grassy field. If I increase my canvas, and let's say we'll do it six inches, and I'll leave it in the middle because I would like to make more clouds and more grass. So this will make space on both sides. You can see my canvas has selected on both ends. I'll zoom out so we can see better. Let's start with our clouds. We'll make a selection. Again, overlapping just a little bit. Go to Edit and Fill, Content Aware. And that's a pretty reasonable extent, extending of my sky. We'll do the same down here. Edit and Fill. And we'll see how this does. So you can see we're getting some strange textures happening here. It's not doing so badly here. And this is definitely repairable, and it depends on what I'm going to use this for. If I'm going to put other objects on top of it, it may not matter that it's not perfect. As long as it's in the neighborhood, that may be all that I need. But the content fill and canvas size are definitely two tools worth having in your arsenal.